Back at the kitchen now with Michelle from Lamer's Dairy making kind of the in food. One of the in foods, truffles are huge right now. A lot of fancy truffle stores opening up all over the country. Those kind of, you know, artisan chocolatiers. You can make these at home so easily. Absolutely. You can make them very easily and actually very inexpensively and delicious. Perfect for Valentine's so. Day or for treats. So we're heating some of our favorite Lamer's heavy cream. So we started to heat some of that. Right. In goes our chocolate chips. That's right. As soon as the cream starts up little bubbles around the edge, we're going to add our chocolate chips, you can either use bittersweeter or um, semi-sweet. Okay. And also we'll add a half stick of butter that's okay. chopped up. And okay. what we want to do is melt those and get a real smooth consistency. Okay. So uh, make sure the butter's in real little pieces. Yes, so you don't have a big chunk that's going to cool down your mixture. And you can go back on the heat um, as necessary to okay. make sure everything is melted. Okay, but that hot cream really does its magic on those. Exactly, yeah. And you want to make sure you don't heat your chocolate too much and definitely not burn it. This so. is so easy. So you melt this all together, then we've got some vanilla we're going to add in? Right, and actually what we would do is usually after this melts, we'd let it cool a little bit, add the vanilla. Okay. And then what you do is you're just going to um, pour it into a shallow dish. Okay and let it chill for four hours or up to overnight. Okay. So that's This pretty, is a great make ahead then, you know. Pretty darn simple, exactly. You could make it in the morning and um, melt it in the morning and then put your mixture in the fridge and then um, make your truffles in the evening. But you have to let make sure that's hardened. So we've it got- It does. Now you can add some different liqueurs, some different flavors. You can add a little almond extract if you want an almond flavor. You could add a little Grand Marnier if you want a that's little right. orange or a little raspberry liqueur, or you can just do it uh, straight up. But we did a couple different flavors. Just that's a couple right. teaspoons of each of, if you're gonna add something to Yes, that. not too much liquid, but I would say, yeah, it's like uh, two teaspoons of Grand Marnier or the Chambord, the Ooh, raspberry yeah. liqueur, that would be delicious. And the almond is just a small amount of almond extract, but you know, to your taste okay. also. Okay. So what tastes good to you? And you can taste it in the liquid state. Okay, so this is all uh, hardened up now. Now how do we make these truffles? Well, it's really simple. You just take one of these little, I don't know if you want to do it also yeah. with me, and just take, you're going to scoop it out, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, what you're going to do is scoop out the size you want, and, okay. and then what you're going to do, and we're going to get messy, Amy, but That's it's fun. Okay. So then what you want to do is just roll it, um, between your nice palms. Nice clean hands. Yeah, and get a uh, ball, and then you, I have a couple different toppings. I have chocolate jimmies, I have unsweetened cocoa, and toasted wal or toasted um, almonds. Ooh. And you can see how pretty they end up looking so easily. And we have some, yeah, there we go. And then you're just going to want to refrigerate them, and um, it's, uh, you're good to go. Just keep them refrigerated. When you serve them, you want to let them go to room temperature. But you can see how easy this is with just chocolate, cream, vanilla. And they're really rich. I mean, they're richer than oh, all get out. Delicious. One or two of these will do it. Um, and they actually form into balls pretty easily. Very easily. You don't want it to get too soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that? And then you can just, and whatever size, if you want little ones, and you know, you can put them in the little candy papers or in, um, a little, like the little gift boxes you can get at the craft store. Oh, how fun is we that? We both have chocolate. Yeah, that's yes. okay. That's that's part of the job, one of the hazards. But here they are all plated up. What a, a neat idea, special yeah, treat for Valentine's Day. Those, absolutely. And if you're having people over for dinner or book club, you could make them ahead and that could be a little party gift. That's right. And how they are fun. just delicious. And they're homemade and they're all natural. Yeah. I mean, so. chocolate chips, heavy cream, a little bit of butter. Um, it doesn't get much easier than that. Yeah. That's right. Thanks so much, Michelle from Thank Lamer's you. Dairy. And uh, we absolutely love your heavy cream, your half and half, and your milk. It really is uh, delicious.